Hi guys, Mazanun is here and today I will show you how to receive this clock for your tier 2 character for order. And to start this quest we need to go to a high pass tier 3 empire to chapter 11 and here we need to speak with NPC Brother Lance and start quest and army marches. In order to complete the stage, we need to kill three uh, Bone Stamper Brawlers and interact with Animal Carcass three times. And after it's done, we need to report to a quest giver and pick next quest. Our next step is to go to the nearest public quest and kill 5 major seers. Once again, same thing, reporting to a quest giver. Now we need to go to the same public quest, but at this time we need to find a cave in this location, it's located a little bit on the left. Here we need to slay 8 Magi Devourers. Last but one we need to visit quest giver to receive our final quest. This time we need to go to the next public quest, a little bit on the right, and uh, we need to go through this citadel and find Magos of Fate. So this might be a little bit problematic for solo characters, but if you are playing as a healer or tank, it won't be any problematic for you. So, and you will find this uh, NPC and very end of this hallway on the right upstairs after it's done you need to visit again a quest giver and receive your clock and for whom this clock might be useful so definitely it's clock for a tier 2 and if you are playing with the bolster or just simply on leveling still on tier 2 it's uh, useful for you it's not useful for tier 3 because out there we have uh, much much better clocks but it's valuable for tier 2 before uh, but for next reasons you can uh, slot here two sockets and usually it will be something like offensive and defensive stat and uh, double defensive like toughness wounds and if you have access to high level talismans which will give you over 20 uh, of stats it's definitely your choice because here you can stack uh, most useful stats for you on this tier because usually here we have um, clocks with dual stat as well but sometimes they are a bit strange so on my shadow warrior I have something like toughness and uh, ballistics so I'll probably would better go with the ballistics and wounds instead so definitely it's always nice to have uh, options in terms of gear so that's it guys i hope it was useful for you and i see you in the next one bye bye